Hi, today we'll be making some tarts. Yes, some custard tarts, some pineapple tarts and of course a few date rolls as well. Before I start, I have to tell you I was making a very small quantity. So, please follow the recipe below. I have written and given the exact quantities to be used. But the method is the same. First, starting off with making the dough. It's a short crust pastry that we'll be doing. The pastry dough that I'll be making won't be as soft and melting in the mouth as it should be. So please follow the recipe I've given below. So what you have to first do is mix the butter in with the flour. Of course, you have to add some icing sugar and then mix with ice water and leave it in the fridge for some time. Since the dough has a lot of butter, it's easy to work with it when it's taken from the refrigerator. Your dough will be much easier to work with and will be a different texture. It will be a very soft texture, you will see. Now getting ready to make the pineapple filling. Please use the recipe given below. Use one pineapple. I'm just using a little bit of pineapple that I had at home to make a few tarts, like I said. Just taste the pineapples before you start. If you feel the pineapples are really sweet, you can go slow on the sugar. And sometimes the pineapples are really sour. In that case, you'll have to add more sugar. 100 grams of cashew nuts for one small pineapple is fine. But if you want to add a little bit more, it's all up to you. You can even make jam tarts with the same pastry, it's the same method. Next, moving on to the other element, yeah, making the custard. You can even use store bought custard, but I'm making the custard at home because it's so easy. Just the sugar, milk, vanilla and of course mix the custard powder with a little bit of water or milk. Make sure to use a heavy bottom pan and a low fire when making your custard. When the milk is boiling, Add the custard powder and mix really well. Keep stirring until you get the correct consistency. These tarts are really delicious. You can even have them with custard or even plain with the filling. It's really nice. If you are using the custard tarts, Right away, you can directly put the custard into your tarts. But if you are going to keep it for a few days, make sure to put a layer of chocolate coating to the crust. Buttering the tart tray is really important. That's how you can get the tarts to come out right away and you won't really have any problems taking them out. I'm using butter. You can use a tray like this or even individual trays. Now getting my flour to roll the flour. Make sure it's not too thin as well. If you're using individual tarts, it's really easy. Make sure to put another tart tray on top of each tart so that you get the edges really beautiful and you get the shapes at the end. Once I put them, I will press the corners so that I get the creasing as well. When you make your tarts, it will look this color. Also, make some holes with a fork. Time to fill these beautiful little tarts with the pineapple that we made. You can see the pineapple is really thick and there is no liquid at all. Make sure it's not too watery. If not, the tarts are going to ooze up. Adding a few cherries for color. It looks really pretty when you add a little bit of red to this beautiful yellow tart. Making them in a 475 heated oven. As soon as you bake them, you can see it's perfect, comes out easily and just let it cool for a few minutes. Baking a few empty tarts as well. And now with the same pastry, I'm going to make a few date rolls. It's really easy. As you can see, just put a cashew nut in between the date and roll it and bake it. Just cut it before you put it into the oven. Now my pineapple tarts are ready. Now let's move on to the custard tarts. My tart shells are baked and ready to be filled with some yummy custard now. 
You can see they are baked evenly and look really nice. Your tart shells should look like this. Now I'm filling my tarts with the custard that I made earlier. Just fill it up with some custard and top it up with the same pineapple filling or even plain custard with just the cherry. Perfect. Now I'm done filling all my custard tarts and of course the pineapple tarts. Look how beautiful these cute little desserts are. It's perfect for tea or any party. I'm sure you're gonna try this soon. So until I meet you next with my next video, I hope you enjoy these custard and pineapple tarts and of course a few date rolls as well. See you soon. Bye for now.